to someone who's just getting into this, perhaps even a homeowner, you mentioned there's not a lot of diseases on home law or a lot of resistance on home loans per se, but for someone who doesn't know, can you talk about what the importance is of understanding what a frat code is relative to its resistance or the potential resistance that might occur? Absolutely. So frat codes are the same as those. So the, D, the DMI fungicide, so the group three fungicides, those impact ergosterol metabolism, right? So they, ergosterol, we produce cholesterol, the fungus need, or we ingest cholesterol, I should say, the fungus needs to produce ergosterol for growth. Mm. So these DMI fungicides, which include perpconazole, tridemophon, microbutanol, um, prothioconazole, there, there's a number of them. They're the largest group. Actually, they also include fast-actin, tenactin. Um, they also include um, yeast medication, so myconazole. Mm. We also would ingest them if we ever have a cryptococcus infection we actually would take these medications hmm. uh, they they all kind of a lot of them are in this dmi fungicide we can't rotate those so we can't rotate propconazole and microbutanol and tridemophon so the way that we can find that out is on the label right at the top it'll say group three fungicide so if you wanted to do a rotation you couldn't apply banner balaton eagle and Densicore. You couldn't apply those four in a row because that is not a rotation. Mm. However, you could apply perpconazole, azoxystrobin, uh, fluxopyroxide, right? So you could, uh, you could do banner, uh, heritage and exemplar, and you could rotate those. And that is a rotation. Okay. So that is a, a quick way to kind of look at what your fungicide application scheme is or your schedule. And kind of just go down and go, okay, well, this is a three, seven, 11, I can do this and then go back to a three, um, making sure that it's, it's all going after your target pathogen, your target disease. Okay.